So here we have Leo for this week's update. I wanted you to get to see Leo on our grooming table. Of course, I'm not the groomer, I'm just a trainer. Um, but Leo's been in here plenty of times with our on-site groomer, Hannah. And he does really, really well for this. We do have some other dogs floating in the room around us, so don't mind any distractions. But it's great for Leo to be comfortable on the table, even with other dogs walking around and other noises, distractions, etc. So. Um, this update is just going to show you how well he does for brushing, blow drying, and all that fun stuff. And yeah, so keep in mind again, I am not a groomer, but this is just how I would do like a daily care or what you can do even at home just on the living room floor. So you want to make sure you do take off his collar. Of course, for safety reasons, I'm going to put a leash on him. You'll always notice we start at the feet and work our way up to the body, and then we will do his face last. So just enjoy this weekly update and seeing how well Leo does on the grooming table. Do a quick 
going to brush through just because it's sprayed on a little thicker than usually. Usually it's more of a mist. Okay. Put an active spray that we would do on our own here. If I notice any eye boogies, I would take this comb and go right in for them. Oh boy. And he's so good about this. He just loves being pampered. And if he needed an eye trim, I would go in with some scissors. And he has had his nails done recently. The same thing. I'll show you again. They were just done, so I don't have to cut them. But if I were going to, and they're right now, clippers. Just keep the clippers behind his nail. And you would just take the end off. So just like that. And then you would snap. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So that's just to show you that he does really well with that. And then now we're just going to hit him with a blow dryer. Thank you. 